Good morning, you guys. I'm so excited to be filming this week in my life video. So this morning we are doing something very exciting. I'm actually recording a podcast with Brooke and Danielle. I'm gonna be on their Gals on the Go podcast. I'm very excited about it. I haven't filmed a podcast in so long. I hope I'm not gonna like embarrass myself. I'm all worked up because I needed a pair of headphones to record this podcast. I thought I had a pair here and I realized that I don't have them here. So I freaked out because I'm recording this in like half an hour, but my dad is a literal angel. He FaceTimed me, found the headphones, and is driving them to my apartment right now. Doug, you are the best. Thank you so much. I'm gonna read through, whoa, so many emails. So yeah, I'm gonna get all ready and set up for the podcast. I might have a little snack here. It's currently 11 o'clock. I got ready for the day, went through all my emails already. Today, I'm gonna work on a bunch of Fabletic stories. It's gonna be a really good day, productive week. Later on this week, I'm just gonna be skiing a whole bunch, so it'll be really fun. I'll get to take you guys along to state, our state race for my high school team. I'll try to kind of capture what my life looks like a little bit as a ski coach, which I know a lot of you guys have been asking about. So this will be fun to kind of show you like what I've been up to because I ski like three, sometimes four days a week. I'm also getting the second dose of my COVID vaccine tomorrow. So I'll document that experience. We're getting everything in order so that I can take a full 24 hours off and just sit in my bed if I need to. And then I'll bounce back and be ready to go for state. We're just gonna go I'll wait outside for Doug so that when he gets here and pulls up, I will be right there. I am bringing him a cookie and Girl Scout cookies to thank him for his service because he's amazing. <music> Doug is the best. What would we do without him? Headphones secured. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. Say hi. We got Danielle and Brooke. Just finished the podcast. You guys have the microphones and everything. It's so professional. Oh, yeah. It's so yeah. fun to sit. Do you have like a, your preferred filming spot? Uh, always at my desk. Always at your desk. I'm always here with my, but I'm not even like sitting. I know. I was like, you're not on the couch. And but, then I have my table here. Oh, so. nice. Okay. You have the leather version of my couch. Oh my gosh. Wait, the article one? Yeah. So it's so comfy. I love it. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. It's fine. We're, I'm just going to pick you up and I'm gonna we're going to carpool. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I feel bad. It'll be a party. We can listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, I just finished the podcast. That was so awesome. Danielle and Brooke are like the best. Seriously, I don't know how they're so good at interviewing. Katie just called me and her and her roommate Maddie are locked out of their apartment. <laughs> their only key is with their other roommate who's at work and they can't even get Katie's car because it's blocked in. So I'm gonna go rescue them because they're clearly having issues today and we were gonna hang out anyway. So that's what's gonna happen. Cure to the rescue, let's go. Hey, are you guys lost? Do you need a ride? I almost wore that though. shirt. <laughs> Wait, how did that even happen? Because we both thought the other one had it. <laughs> had the key, but then how did it lock on because the outside without you guys locking it? Oh! <laughs> we were going on a walk, ah, and then we were turning Long to walk. walk. <laughs> okay, so where am I mapping to? I love this because I was vlogging too, oh. but it's funny because I'm gonna stop vlogging this experience <laughs> now, and it's gonna be over here. It's oh like we're gosh. collabing. Yeah, we are. This lens is weird. Oh, I'm sorry. No, not bad. Oh, it's, 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 oh hey, Maddie. Like, oh my god, you guys haven't met Maddie yet. This is Maddie. She's, she's already a YouTube sensation. Yeah. She's Maddie. a designer. designer. Very talented. Very fashion forward. Um, really good cook. Always, mm -hmm. like, always here for a good always time. Always positive. Always positive. Never a problem. Like, <laughs> wow. So easy. Our um, hand motions were the exact same. <laughs> okay. okay. Do you like to DJ us? Um, okay. Really. We're going to go for an adventure. Updates to come. Katie okay. called me out and said I'm wearing the same <laughs> outfit that I wore yesterday. And I was going to warn you it's and say a bad thing <laughs> i only I wore it for like an hour because i showered i put the outfit on went to go get takeout i was just happened to be wearing this so it didn't get much use so i just wanted to put it back on if you guys didn't hear what happened, we have to go meet Julia. She's a phlebotomist, so. <laughs> we're, she's a phlebotomist. She's we're a surprising her at her place Surprise, of we need a oh, key, really. so. I am too, I'm kinda sweaty. I'm <laughs> Okay, what are you gonna do when you guys get your key back? Ooh. Put our art on the wall. We just said the same thing. What art did you get? It's a cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> we have the key. Woo! 
<laughs> Success, shout out Julia, she's saving lives. The key's in, oh, it works! Another thing off the to-do list, I needed to go to my favorite Elephant's Delicatessen. They have the best soup and I got a giant container of the Mama Leon soup. Two of my little black bean quinoa things that I love a lot. I've got them on standby in case I feel like absolute trash on Wednesday after my vaccine, but I'm sure I'll feel fine. The quinoas are gonna be great because I like need to have lunch at the mountain and they're super easy for me to eat. Now we're gonna go home. I'm gonna work on filming some Fabletic stories. Yeah, the day is just a going. We are back. I'm having some kombucha. This is the brew doctor kombucha in love. I need something to revive me for my afternoon slump. I want to open this package that my dad brought to me. Unboxing, ooh, from my favorite people at Nails Inc. They send me the cutest things. Color and glow, grow up babe, strengthening base coat, coconut enriched cuticle oil. As you can tell, I really need to do my nails, so I will definitely be doing that. I might save that for my 24 hours off on Wednesday. We got holler and glow, smashing it babe, nourishing clay, face mask with avocado oil. Looks like we're having a spa week this week. Oh, these are so cute. Chocolate scented nail polish. That is so cool. We got this color in Coco Kisses. This is a chocolate scented one. This one's another chocolate chocolate scented one in No Fear Chocolatier. Ooh, I might do this on my nails. It's, I have like, what do I have now? This is like a brighter, more creamsicle color. It's called Don't Worry Peach Happy. Oh my God, I might have to do this one. This is a color changing nail polish. Heat reactive nail polish. It'll change colors and it's called You're Hot Then You're Cold. I have not talked to the vlog in a couple hours. I've just been working on creating some content for Fabletics and then put away the dishes, tidied up because my my girls Scout and Lucy are coming over for our Monday night dinner. We do dinner together every other Monday night. They're in my bubble, they're fully vaccinated. Tonight on the menu, we are doing yum bowls. We're having a little collab, so they're bringing over some of the ingredients, but I've already gotten started. If you guys are looking for a really good idea of what to make for your friends as a good dinner, this is the best idea. In my yum bowl, we always have cilantro, black olives. This is gonna be for the edamame. They're gonna bring the black beans. I'm gonna spice up our corn. Edamame is boiling. I use the little packets of rice from Trader Joe's because they're super easy. They're like the three minute packets of rice. Lucy and I are trying to convince Scout that homemade yum bowls are far superior than buying them. So hopefully she likes the homemade version. I have the yum sauce in the fridge. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me, here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. On a scale of one to 10, what would you rate the homemade yum bowl? A nine. That's We did okay. really well. Okay, I will yeah. take that. Now, did you try any new toppings? Yes, I did. What did you try? Edamame. Fruit made notes. Yeah, oh yeah, I do. Oh boy. Actually, no, I think it's fine. I don't oh. think I have any room for improvement. No, notes. you can tell us, be No, honest. it's just, it's not even a note for a room for improvement. It's just a preference. Okay. I always get the original, which has brown rice and brown rice is a little drier almost. Oh. And so it makes it just a little bit drier. And it wasn't bushy at all. The okay. rice is key to that. Yeah. we made the Trader Joe's rice. I've just been working on different work projects, emails, getting my life together. I've got 
leftover yum bowl from last night that I'm gonna have for lunch. In about half an hour, I'm gonna leave to go to the convention center to go get the second dose of my COVID vaccine. If you guys haven't watched my first video, I explain the whole process more and really go into detail about it all. So if you wanna go watch that video, I'll leave it linked. I'm getting it because I'm employed by the school district as a ski coach, so we are in person. I interact with quite a few kids, so it's probably good that I'm getting it. Again, watch the video more if you wanna talk about it. Um, I didn't have any side effects besides a headache the next day from the first one. My arm was like barely sore at all. Like I almost didn't notice it. I've heard the rumors of the second dose. So I have prepared my fridge accordingly to nurse myself back to health. I'm gonna eat this. I'm staying hydrated, drinking lots of water, which is great. <laughs> I'm in the car with Katie. We're going to our lovely vaccine appointment. Are you more nervous for this one? Or do oh. you know you got through the last one? A little more so than <laughs> like the after effects. Right, but... the rumors. But Lucy said she was fine. Yeah, and my dad was fine. And I and had another friend get it and she was fine as well. She so. said her arm was more sore. But either way, it's worth it. So it doesn't matter. We're gonna go through the pain. Yes. It doesn't matter. When I call up, up to say I'm in town, I get a notion that we both walk the same ground. Been traveling all over, searching far and away for a sign to lead me straight. We walk together down the streets of our home, it's been forever. people we are back home we're vaccinated i am so excited i still have my stickers on me i kind of want to save them is that weird i'll stick them on the info packet that they gave me katie and i were talking about how the process was way better this time we still went to the oregon convention center and we were in and out in 35 minutes i timed us and everything it was so fast great people per usual everyone's so nice now we wait i guess katie and i went to moberry afterwards i got a really delicious smoothie and now i just have all this time off it's gonna be fantastic Fantastic. I keep hearing more people who don't have reactions, so I'm sure I'm gonna be fine. Like, I really don't care. I can get through it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what I have. I'll keep you guys updated. I think I'm just gonna maybe like watch a show. Then I might run to Target because I wanna try to make little state goodie bags for my racers because state is a really big deal. And I remember when I went to state in high school and I will never forget all the different state races. Like, it just, it's a big race and it's cool and it's fun to celebrate it. Comment down below again what your vaccine experience was like. If you have questions for me i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability the vaccine rollout it's happening it's great read the facts don't read into the rumors and make a decision for yourself i'm really happy with my decision and i feel so fortunate to be in the position to get a vaccine keep staying positive keep wearing your mask this is so random but i just realized i got a band-aid this time and she gave me a bugs bunny band-aid it's so cute last time she didn't even give me a band-aid so i got this cute little bugs bunny one another time and place would ease away the pain is out of gift bags. I need purple ribbon and gift bags and that's it. And I don't have it. Wow, Michael says options. I think I'm gonna go polka dots. All right, we're in the purple section. I might just get a little bit more because I'm always happier on these projects. I'll probably win a couple. I've been alone before but never with you. I have packaged the goodie bags. They are ready to go. I did try to start the crafting process for the ribbons, but they did not turn out how I wanted them to. This always happens to me. I always think I can like write with puff paint and it never looks good. Here was my example. That was not gonna happen. Just did 2021. I'm gonna end up making them little tags that I can actually write on that are cardboard or whatever. I think it'll be cute at the end of the day. I'll show you how they turn out tomorrow. I am making myself some of my soup. I feel fine by the way. My aunt said it hit her at like hour 20. 12 and I'm only on hour seven. So I'll probably be asleep, hopefully, by the time it really hits me. I'm just watching some 2020 and then try to go to bed early. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I'm moving on. Happy Wednesday. We have survived. I'm feeling fine. I literally feel 100% normal. When I got my first shot, the day after I still felt 100% 
normal and then it hit me like right after I filmed the intro so probably hit me around 12. Who knows the side effects may kick in but my arm is not even sore it's totally fine I could sleep on it slept great and now I'm drinking some green tea that's what they're saying is a recommended thing to rehydrate with. I'll leave the article down below in my brain food. Also I haven't talked about this but ever since the start of 2020 every single video in the description box has had a link to either an article or a video called brain food and it's just whatever I pick that week that I find interesting or meaningful to share with you guys. And I just always leave it down in the description box. If you're ever bored and you wanna just read something new, get your brain food for the day, be sure to check it out because I update it every single video. It's like a little surprise. Go check it out, open it up, give it a watch. Last week's video was really good. The brain food was awesome. So, and one of you guys noticed it and it has been paying attention, which is awesome. <laughs> Go find the brain foods. I have just been chilling on my phone this morning. The gals on the go podcast launched. It was so fun to like wake up and a bunch of my friends were texting me and they were like, you're on the gals on the go podcast. So thank you guys for watching and everything. I'll leave a link to the podcast down below. And thank you so much to Brooke and Danielle for having me. I'm going to listen to the podcast tomorrow when I drive to the mountain. So I'm saving it. I haven't listened to it yet. It has been many hours later and I am now getting ready for my live stream with you guys. I've never live streamed on YouTube before, so I'm kind of excited about it. I have been working all morning doing emails, replying to comments on videos. I took a nap or tried to take a nap. I feel fine still, but I would say I'm probably about like 90 or 95 percent not like my full 100 percent that's kind of what i've been up to it's really pretty day like it's super sunny out so after i do this live stream i think i'll probably maybe like run an errand or two because i need to go get the tags to finish up my goodie bags and then i have this thing that i bought at anthropology that was way too expensive and i really need to return it so i might go do some errands and go like walk outside because it's so pretty out. We're gonna zoom in. We are officially live. See if it'll focus. Oh yeah, say hi everyone. This really picked up. Look at the speed. That's amazing. <laughs> this year I'm going to start a new chapter. Ignore the tears and only write down the laughter. goodie bags are officially done for all of my state racers. They look pretty cute. They all say good luck state with little 2021. So I'll bring them tomorrow. I'm very excited actually to go to state and I have a lot of friends who are going and coaching. So it'll just be fun to see people in like a safe way. They see my old coaches. Katie is coming over. We are going to cook dinner here and then I'm going to go to bed early. I'm all packed up and ready to go. I'm all showered. Katie almost burnt down my apartment so complex. <laughs> I've never had a real fire. All of a sudden, Julia's like running over there and she grabs this. It looks like. Yeah, this is what it looks like. That's what it is now. So it's a little bit cinched. <laughs> it's a little bit burnt and smelling in here. So we're trying to air it out. Good going. It scared me. <laughs> gotta watch where the, the fabrics are. I burned down the apartment. Oh my God. <laughs> Morning, everyone. It is currently 6:20 in the morning. We're at Freddy's. I need to get 
two McCormican sausage gravy packets because I asked Jason if he wanted anything from the city and this is what he told me to get. How come it's not working? Probably have to go to the other entrance. But yeah, my morning has been good. There is no traffic, which is amazing. Also here to report my side effect of the night. I feel 100% now, I'm fine. But I did have night sweats last night, which is the same thing that I had on my first dose. And I woke up at 3 a.m. drenched in sweat, changed my pajamas, and now we're back. Oh no, they only have chicken gravy packet. Chicken it is. arrived at Ski Bowl, met up with my coaches, had a little outdoor meeting for the day. I now have to drive to the other side to Ski Bowl West to this podcast one. because that is where the girls GS is. All right, we're here with my two racers, Morgan and Avery. Your two favorites. Yeah. Oh, okay. How are you feeling about today? Fine. Fine. A little nervous. It's, it's probably like nerve excitement, you know. Yeah. Girls run one is complete. They crushed it. Awesome course. I'm gonna eat my quinoa now. Wait for everyone to get back up to the top. Then we'll do this all again for run two. This is the view right now. It's so perfect. over to go catch up with the boys on the other side. Girls are all done and apparently our boys might be in second place right now. Why is this not happening? My trunk is open, that's the problem. Potentially second or third in state. Yeah. Gus has no words. Pat got sixth. We don't know what's happening between us and Jesuit. Stay tuned for updates. Subscribe to Gus. He has a vlog channel. Yeah, we'll give Gus a formal shout out. I'll put a little eye. Yeah, they'll find it. here with Sarah at the bottom of the course and we're waiting for the girls to run and I forgot my camera today so yeah four no. runners are down I know now we have our official videographer Sarah because yesterday there was drama because one of our boys was on the disqualification list but he had a clean run and the only way to turn it over is by video so now Sarah will get every video it's all in your hands don't mess up driving by the shore Looking for some more and we're already going raw. Want you to work. I heard about your resume. Skirt. Open up the sesame. Work. Oh no, no, don't pressure me. Yeah, ooh, yeah. Roll out with the referee. Curb. Yeah, yeah, I'm turning left now. Burn. Yeah, the rubber's on my chest now. First. No, you're not the first one. They done told me I'm the worst one. Yeah, always the 
pedal to the floor, yeah, I'm more than Santa And I don't know what's in my trunk, I'm always front and center Try to Rory down the coast, yeah, rocking my new road, yeah Always on the road and I don't need no sweater Ooh, baby, on the track, I'm going vroom, vroom Try and catch me when I pull up in that zoom, zoom Ooh, nah, please don't make that call Me don't want no cars, they ain't ready for the cars Some more.